Yo, what is up? What is up, man? You already know what it is, man. It's uh, Uncle Drip. And today, I'm going to be teaching you guys exactly how to make builds safely. You know what I'm saying? Like, how many times have you went in and created a build and a lot of mistakes? You waste, you waste a lot of VC. So, I'm going to teach you how to stop wasting VC. Um, it's, a, it's not a foolproof plan, but you are unlikely to mess up. So check this out here we have the builder if you don't know much about the builder you see on the right side here you'll see it shows you your takeovers it shows you what badges will be available at what what's in what specs you'll need to attain those badges but this is something i like to do you see i'm going 70 70 70. what you want to do while you're doing this is if you know you're not gonna do standing dunks for instance this is a template every guard if you're a guard like shooting guard point guard just get a 40 this unlocks some basic standing dunks for sit uh, situational standing dunk that's what we gonna call this situational you catch the someone pass you the ball and you're already under the rim you have this 40 so that way you can just get a, 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 ver, a vertical dunk you can just dump up and dunk it no matter what, how, how, how short tall whatever um so this whole setup is a template but basically if you don't do post control for instance for example just leave that blank and just follow through and we know we're gonna come back and we're gonna upgrade certain things but for starters just go 70 70 70 for every in every category like you know what i'm saying like this is this is i don't need to do this anymore but when i first started off making my builds this is how i did it and it's a good especially in in, in new new 2ks when i first made my first build, i did this just to see what like what were the limitations because this does give you because they're last year for example you can do a build where you can have an 80 in every category so it's cool to just see what kind of build you can create now if you're wondering if you had like an 80 in every category the build would probably be probably be like a prospect or right, in the agility the speed we're not going to do the 80 thing my mind you this is a template so what you're going to need is this right here this right here is the bare minimum. I'm telling you for defense, you're gonna need a 78 agility no matter what build you on, unless it's like a big and that's like perimeters really low. Um, and when I say really low, I mean like in the 40s really low. But if you wanna have decent defense and be able to just play, you, you might still get cooked, but this is like the floor for my guards. Um, the strength being at 70 not necessarily that's not necessarily uh necessary but if you have post control you get power uh you get post powerhouse and that's a solid badge if you're going to be going back to basket vertical you are going to need i you can if you it depends on the build for vertical if you're going for a shooting build that won't have a lot of dunking this isn't necessary but since we're going to be going with a dunking build we're gonna be going with a 75. Um, you, this is like the basic, you know, that's the like the floor for Duncan. All right. Now, if you're like I said, we're gonna make it a dunking build. Now that we have basically our whole our template. All right. Go ahead and I will, I will screenshot this, whatever, just so you know you know what you got. Um, I got a 70 O, 70 defensive. You can go 60 if you want just to have them to max out your points we can knock that down to 60. we can say this isn't going to be the build that's going to be always on the glass but having this right here is going to help you out depending on what play style you like if you're playing twos i would go with a 60 60 70 70 just so or, you know what i'm saying something like that just so as a guard you can help on the glass situational um defense all you really need is this right here it, it, it and i'm gonna tell you something 
defense comes down to stick skill. So, I mean, this is all I need from most of my most of my like guards and stuff like that, and my six eight taller builds. But once again, seventy four is the floor. But since we're going with a six five shorter build, I'm actually going to go with an eighty five and a 73 to get lane steals i'm not so much worried about glove if you want glove you can just push up to 79 that's you you know what i'm saying your choice but you want to be able to get lane steals silver is the sweet spot you'll be able to get a lot of stops and play some magnificent on ball considering your defense is pretty much in the silver realm which is like a good place to be you want to keep the 70 interior defense for um contests against uh bigs everybody you want to be able to test the ball but what's really cool is the off ball pest for my guys that are running low perimeter having a high interior defense is a cheat code it's like off ball pest is like low-key clamps for when they when they're not primarily handling the ball so you can deny 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 if you have a pretty much solid interior defense and remember you guys for my bills that don't have a lot of defense that go for the for like zone having this off ball pest is viable for when you're playing the corners so that way when they try to do that back cut you can cut them off baseline and it results in a lot of bumps and out of bounds types of animations speed with ball you for surely can't be 70 now depending on how fast you want your build to be if you're off ball you're not really a dribbler you can get away with a 75 having a 75 speed with ball means you're not going to be primarily dribbling like i said you're gonna be playing a lot of off ball you can iso but you know you're more like a secondary ball handler like a clay thompson type of deal but um if you're trying to be a primary ball handler i would go up to 86 for the Lightning launch on gold. But in our situation, we're playing off ball, baby. We're going 85. And I'll go 86 ball handle. Um, this is a shooting dunking build. Yeah, we're gonna go dunking. We're gonna go shooting dunking. So we're gonna go low shooting on this build. Not nothing crazy. I'm thinking 83. And then we're gonna pump up this dunk. To at least an 87 to start all right now this is where we go uh, it's it starts to get a little it starts to get like not complicated but you know you you've already made it to where it's gonna be hard to mess up the build okay as long as you're not going back trying to make a lot of corrections like oh let me lower this let me like you put everything 70 70 70 now you're just messing around with that you're just making like oh, how do I want my build to be I want to be able to slash primarily and shoot from you know pretty much anywhere on the court so i think you want to push this up to 87 this will give you access to all of the jump shot animations right and you're playing and this is also a rec we're going rec build so we got free throw we good there we got the defense the pass accuracy now this is another thing where it's like i don't know how much pass accuracy you feel like you need I personally feel like a 65 for, like like I said, an off-ball guy, a 65 is solid. But you can pump it up to like 78 if you want to get this vers uh, versatile visionary. You know, throw some nice lob passes or, what, or whatnot. Um, we're primarily slashing. So if we're going to push it up higher, which we are, we're going to go, we're going to need a, that higher vert. So we're going to need that 80 vertical. And we can get this 83. Now we have gold posterizer along with our with our with our vertical. We good. All right. Now I'm looking at the build, and now like we know we're primary slashing. I think that maybe we could pump this up a little bit higher. We can go 85. You see how it's like you can take your time and not spend five hours in the builder with this kind of with this strategy. You know, boom, boom. Now you have a Hall of Fame posterizer. 
you not you haven't made no mistakes. You see what I'm saying? So so now you you you, you know what you're doing. You're good. You got a good layup. You got your close shot. You got high dunking. You have almost elite shooting. We're good. We okay passing. We can dribble, and we got some solid speed with the ball. All right. So now I'm looking at it like, do you want to have a higher glove? Do you want a little more perimeter? I, in my opinion, how I would go, I think I would push up this three point to get limitless on silver, just so when you use your up cap breaker, yeah, you know, use your up cap breaker. You could do one of two things: you could go limitless range on gold, or set shot specialist on Hall of Fame, and that's gonna make you an a more elite shooter. You see what I'm saying? And then just throw the rest. Right on free throw, whatever. We just gonna waste that. Now we can look at the build. We came into this wanting to do a slasher. We are a Hall of Fame slashing build with the one-up badge. You'll get legend, uh, legend posterizer without having to have a 99 driving dunk. Remember what we said about the standing dunk. Just in case for situational no standing dunks, we got everything that we need. Shooting next to elite free throw we can pass the ball you can also dribble you have access to a, most of the dribble well, i think that there that 88 might be like where you can get like all of the everything but i think that 86 is more than enough uh the defense you solid on defense you're gonna be able to guard anybody you'll be able to get steals speed rebounds on both ends the vertical is out of this world and don't forget you guys you also you're also gonna have five extra cat breakers. You see what I'm saying? So you can bump up your dribbling, your ball handle. Um, you can bump up the three point. You know, there's a lot of things you can do. This build has uh, if we look at the potential here, you see three point shot is a 93. So you can get gold limitless range. Um, the ball handle can be pumped up the speed with ball can be pumped up whatever you know what I'm saying so it's it's a it, that that strategy is a really safe way of saving BC man you know what I'm saying I hate seeing guys out there with builds that I mean you know to be frank are trash because they rush through they're trying to get you know whatever um the strength like I was saying earlier if you're not going back to baskets which which we didn't I would lower it to uh, 78 just to get like you know a little bit more on uh, something you know you can put this wherever you want it's up to you you know get a little dimer over here get lower that down maybe get a little more interior or something you know there you go I don't know um but anyway this is the that's the template that's the strategy on how to save basically save man your hundred dollars man these these bills ain't cheap so um let me know if this strategy on making builds helps you guys out man you know what i'm saying i'm really just putting on for the community man you already know what it is it's uncle drip and i'm out